Okay, right. you have three minutes. Stand by, please. Right. Speak. You know, Matt, it's funny in this film, uh, when your character gets the VIP treatment for the first time, you know, the, the chauffeur and first class travel, do you remember the first time a studio rolled out the VIP red carpet for you and what a impact it had on you? Oh, I remember, uh, I remember, let's see, in, I was 19 and, and I did a cable television movie for TNT and they screen tested me and they flew me from Boston to LA and they flew me first class. And, and I just could not believe it. I just wanted everybody in the world to see me sitting in this seat because it was so big and it was so comfortable. And, and they kept coming up and asking me if I needed anything. I, I just couldn't believe, me. I believe it. It just really blew my mind. It, I mean, I was calling people from, from when I got to L.A. saying, well, you should have seen it. The, the leg, the chair goes up. And, yeah. Well, it's funny. Now, of course, the burning question with this movie, you're on location in Italy. What is craft services like when you're in, in, in Italy? Actually, it's really good. I mean, they, uh, I, I just couldn't eat it because I was dieting. But they would bring, you know, panini in the morning. They'd bring, like, you know, bread with olive oil and tomato and cheese. And, I mean, we, you know, the crew ate well. Well, the last time we talked was for Saving Private Ryan, and you were about to leave to start shooting this film. Right, you know, and, right, you know, exactly. And all the hype and everything was coming out. Now, how recognizable were you when you were shooting this film, and, and how did the bystanders and tourists and locals react? Um, well, they were really nice, and, and you know, um, it, it was a little wacky in some places, you know, but which was new for me, which is funny. You know, I don't have a bodyguard or anything like that, and um, it kind of usually dies down once I get in the middle of it because I, cause I tend to just, you know, calm everybody right. down and go, it's no big deal, really. Well, what kind of things would happen? Well, you know, a lot, like a lot of the little Italian girls, you know, I think it was also fun for these little girls, just they were all there together, you know, so they'd, they'd come running down and start screaming together, and it was also kind of a thing for all of them to do. I think it was a lot less about me and more about them having a great time, so, you know. Well, this whole thing about people ingratiating themselves to, a, like, a more famous person. Right. Now, you know, you've been on, you know, on, on the fame level, you've been on the low end, like, looking in, now, you know, you're on the inside, but your own personal meter for detecting people who are trying to suck up to you. Yeah. How highly tuned has it become? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, you know, um, I, but I also am somebody who gives everybody the benefit of the doubt, you know, and I, I let people let me down before I, before I just cast them off, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's not naivety, it's just uh, optimism. Okay, great. All right, yeah. thanks very much. All right. Yeah.